Sorry, I was talking to my spirits. Ah, sorry, Aries. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, this is your weekly reading. Um, what else I was going to say to you? Oh, no spiritual awareness this week. Okay. Also, three more. We're ready. Um, also, if you want to contact me for a reading, you can. Um, Hoodospiritualist.net or... You could schedule a reading there, or um, you can contact me on my email address, which is down below. All right, Aries, let's see. I'm sorry about that long break, but I really was talking to, to my spirits. Ah, they was letting me know some other stuff. So, there's something going on. This is the lover card in reverse, the underlining of the reading. So, it's the, uh, the lover's card in reverse. So, there's something going on in the sense of those of you that who are in a relationship. There's something that has turned the relationship on its head. Um, some difficulties uh, in communication, I feel, because I'm focused really on the, the, the connection between the two birds. And I feel like there is some form of communicational problems. And that's what's going on beneath the surface. Also, it might be communication problems with friends, families, somewhere along the line. I don't feel like it's associates or I don't feel like it's co-workers because this is a lover's bond. So this is a bonding of like soulmate energy or more like um, people who are very close to you. So there's something going on where you guys are disconnecting or not communicating the way you should. Because coming into this week, I feel like there's a chariot which is this strong controlled energy. There's a strong desire to um, assess the people around you because that's the judgment card right next door and the, that that angel is pouring down a horn and every and the music that they, everybody is hearing is different because each of them has different situation and scenarios that they need to get rid of the things in their life and I feel like some of you are ready and willing but other you, of you are really uh, um, unsure about this because you don't know what's the future hold without these people but let me tell you that it's a good thing if you would if they're strongly pushing you to release these people out of your world areas and I think you should hop to it and just have rely on faith I should say the judgment card is about having faith that after you let go of your these vices or these bad people then things good things will come into your world because at the beginning of the month of the week I feel like you guys are a little confused about uh, a certain manipulative abuser right and you're not facing the fact of it because this is the moon card and this is about disillusionment and having the wool getting pulled over your eyes and I believe it's about a man or a woman that is doing being emotionally abusive or doing things behind your back and concocting things and schemes behind your back to deter your world and you're looking away but you're very confused right to where you're going to what you're doing what it's about <laughs> and I feel like that um, that you know that this person is this way, but you feel um, so, so worried that when you let this person go, what this world is going to be like without them, right? But I feel like towards the middle of the week, you're going to get the knowing and the understanding that, hey, regardless, this world, this person is causing a lot of grief, right? So the, 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 the justice card is about justice and it being over so whatever situation is happening with this person I feel that they're controlling a lot of the people that are around you and once you realize this you're like okay it's time to let this go so it, it, so even without with letting it go you feel more justice and adjudicated and more balanced right regardless of whatever it is that was hanging on you or these people around you you know that this situation is over and it gives you a feeling of adjudication it makes you feel okay with you Oh, so at the end of the week, we have the star card and the strength card. So I feel like you're standing in your own, right? The star card is about divine energy, but more this time, I feel like with this day, it's about you saying, look, look at who I am and look how strong I've grown, right? It's bringing yourself into the spotlight and knowing that and giving yourself the props for being able to stand alone and being able to be seen as who you are for the first time without this person manipulating and, 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 uh, and getting into people's head about what you are trying to represent to the world. At the end of the week, I think you're going to know exactly how you want to represent yourself and how you want to move forward. 
because the outcome is you being more balanced and secure because we have the temperance card and I also feel that you're ready and you're creating new ideas for yourself about how you want to move forward in love and, and, and not only in love but in every aspect of your life right you're ready and I feel like some of you may want to travel because I'm looking at those waters and there things behind me and I just want to run towards it so I feel like there's things that you guys want to explore and do and that's part of why the Empress card has come up in your outcome for the week Okay, guys, stay blessed and ashe. I'll see you next week. All right, Aries. Love you.